Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we simplify AutoCAD step by step. So today we are going to draw this detailed shape exercise 47 using only basic story command in AutoCAD. Whether you are a complete beginner or brushing up your AutoCAD skill, this tutorial will guide you clearly and slowly. So let's open your AutoCAD and let's get started. Before start drawing, we will start by setting up the unit type units command UNITS units press enter set to millimeter as a insertion scale as a millimeter and make sure your precision will be 0.00, .00. press ok. Now step 1 start from the left side. So let's begin with the vertical section. First, draw a vertical line as a 124.8 mm long. So this one we need to create. Before create this one, need to create a straight center line. So just press L for line command. Click on first point and put a value as a 300. Press enter. Select this line, go to properties and color will be red and line type it will be center now create a line for this one 124.8 from here to here so use l for line click on first point and put a value 124.8 press enter select this line click on this midpoint and put it here now create one more line Distance will be 90. So use O for offset command and put a value as a 90. Select this line and put it here. Choose this line as a center. MA for match command. Select this line to this line. Then choose circle command as a radius 20. So use C for circle command. Click on this point and put a value as a radius 20. Press enter. Now step 2. Draw a horizontal base. So this one is our horizontal base from here to here and also from here to here. So this value will be 156. So you can use line command L for line. Click on this point and put a value 156 press enter. Now create a one more line. This one we don't specify but angle available 30 degree so need to create this one using line and uh, line uh, distance will be for example 160 using tap command and put a value as a angle 30 now if you see very carefully we have a curve on this portion from here to here and also from here to here so this curve radius will be radius 26 so we need to create here as a curve 26. So use fillet command F for fillet, R for radius and radius value will be 26. Press enter. First click this line and second click on this line. Select both lines and curves using MI for mirror command. Click on this point to this point. Choose as a no. Now need to match from this line to this line. Now trim unwanted part of this line using TR double enter, trim this one and this one and this one. If you see very carefully, we have one more curve from here to here and also radius will be 20. So use fillet command using F enter, R for radius, 20 enter. Click on this line to this line. If you put here as a multiple for M, so you can use multiple time of this fillet. Okay. So I am not activate multiple. So that's why we are out of the command. So using again F for fillet, R for radius, 20. Click on this line to this line. Now step 3. Create middle slot. If you see very carefully, this one is a middle slot. So we need to create this one. So inner circle radius will be 16 and outer circle radius will be 20 and from this center point to this center point 
distance will be 97. So first we need to create circle using C enter. Click on this point and outer circle radius will be 20. Press enter. Again click on same center point and put a radius as a 16. Press enter. Select both circle using CO for copy command. Click on a specific point of your screen and put a value as a 97. Press enter. Now need to add using L for line. Click from here to here. As same as from here. Okay. Select both line using MI for mirror command. Click on the center point and put it here. Choose as a new. Now need to trim. So just zoom in, TR, enter, T for cutting edge, select outer both line, press enter and select this outer circle. As same as for inner, TR, enter, T for cutting edge, select these inner lines, press enter and just click on this circle. Okay, select all the cutout using J for join. So just join this one. Now zoom out. Now step 4. Create right side curves. As you see in this diagram, this one is our right side curve. So we need to create this one after create this one. Okay. So if you see very carefully, the outer arc radius will be 156 and center point this one. So from this one, from here to here, radius will be 156. So you can use circle command using C for circle. Click on the center point and put a value 156. Press enter. Now you can see very carefully from these curve need to create both side. So radius will be 20. You can use F for fillet, R for radius. Also you can see here radius available because of last radius this one save as so just press enter and now m for multiple so we we create multiple times fillet in one command so select this line to this circle again this line to this circle now you need to trim tr enter t for cutting edge select this curves press enter and click on this one now we are created successfully these curves now we need to check dra for dimension radius and click here 156 okay now step 5 create these inner cutouts again as same as need to activate circle command and circle radius will be 104 okay this one click on same center point and put a value 104 press enter now create one more circle this circle radius will be 19.5 so need to create this one using c for circle command click on here as a coordinate point of this outer circle put a value 19.5 press enter now select this circle using rotate command ro for rotate click on the center point and put a value of rotation will be 45 press enter angle will be mentioned here okay now select this circle using mi for mirror command and click on this point to this point. Choose as a no. Okay. Now trim unwanted part using TR enter T for cutting edge. Select this circle and this circle. Press enter. Trim this one. Now we need to create two more arc. This one outer arc and this one is an inner arc. So need to create using offset command. An offset value will be 19.5. O for offset command. Put a value as a offset 19.5. Press enter. Click this circle outside and click this circle inside. Okay. Now choose MA for match command. Select this line to this arc. 
Now trim unwanted part so using TR double enter circles arc and also this one and these inner circles and also this one and this one. Now extend this line from here to here. Copy this line from here and put a value as a 97. Press enter. Select all the diagram except these center lines and arc. Go to properties and change a line type thickness as of 0 0.30. Now step 5. Final touch. Join all the lines using J. Enter and trim to clean your drawing. Zoom out and admire your finished exercise 47. So now here is a final drawing. Every arc radius angle place just right place. If you follow along step by step, give yourself as a pat on the back. So you are mastering in AutoCAD one sketch at a time. Okay. So after you add dimension, your drawing looks like that. Okay. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and join our channel to support more such content new practice exercise will be uploaded soon so perfect for engineering student and autocad lovers likes you so this is khalid mahmood from learncad i'll see you in the next video until keep learning keep drafting keep supporting thank you tata bye bye